Regardless of how long Tracy Hunter remains in jail, she will stay where she has been since Monday in the medical facility North Tower of the Justice Center. The sheriff says that's absolute. I'll tell you for two reasons. One, because of her medical condition qualifies her to be there and two it keeps her out of the general population and because she was a former judge i have to protect her as some of her supporters demonstrated at noon we'll see her on the outside the sheriff cleared up confusion about whether he could release her on his own he cannot this court ruling from 2016 clearly spells it out the sheriff lacks legal authority to release a sentenced offender based on overcrowding or budget shortfalls unless ordered by a court or the governor hunter is a sentenced offender tracy hunter is a low-level felon with no priors and generally speaking um, they shouldn't be in jail However, Prosecutor Joe Dieters points to her lack of remorse, lack of cooperation, and combative attitude, which leaves this. The way to shorten her sentence is by her uh, volunteering to uh, sign up and do uh, uh, detail work. She has yet to sign up for that, but has already led a Bible study for women in the jail. The sheriff tells us she could earn three days off her six-month sentence for every one she works. Can't compel her to do it, but he'd like to see it. There's no better way uh, of earning time than serving God, that's for sure. And Sheriff Neal intends to broach that subject with her when he checks on her tomorrow during his rounds of jail inspection. The rally at 6.30 will be over on the east side of the North Tower where supporters hope that she'll be able to see them from the window of the Justice Center. Reporting live, John London, WRW.